What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and what if I told you Optic Gaming, arguably the most popular team in COD history and one of the most popular esports organizations in the gaming industry right now, might not exist or might not even be named Optic Gaming anymore. Well, unfortunately, that is what might end up happening in the next couple of weeks here. In fact, this may reach out to almost every COD Esports team out right now. So if you guys did not know, Activision is looking to franchise the Call of Duty World League, meaning certain businesses, companies, investors, etc., are going to buy a spot to compete in this franchise city-based league. Now, what that means is certain cities will have a Call of Duty team to represent them in esports events. It's kind of similar to the NBA or the NFL with like say the Chicago Bulls or the Los Angeles Lakers but instead there may be the Chicago Slayers or the Los Angeles Assault. Those are just a few examples I'm giving but then about two months ago it was reported that five cities have already purchased a spot in the Call of Duty League and they are Atlanta which is owned by Atlanta Esports Ventures, Dallas owned by Team Envy, New York which is owned by Sterling VC with the New York Mets owner and Paris owned by Con Contact Gaming LLC and then lastly Toronto owned by Overactive Media so spots are filling up at a pretty decent pace it was also reported that each spot is selling for 25 million dollars which seems like a lot to invest in for a game that has a new series every single year so the consistency really isn't all that there um, but it, it's actually selling very very fast and I'm surprised that um, so many teams have already or cities have already have uh, own a spot in the franchise league but then teams like say e united phase and yes even optic might not be able to come up with the 25 million because like i said earlier it's a very very risky investment since there is a new call of duty game coming out every single year and the next one might not be as well received as the previous one plus a lot of other factors go into this making it very risky thus forcing the owners to sell the team to these businesses companies investors and with optic it was reported that um immortals gaming club which owned the los angeles valiant in the overwatch league are very close to buying the team and this was reported by esports insider now the optic organization isn't owned by optic hex or anyone from optic it's actually owned by infinite esports and entertainment because hex sold the team a few years back so he has no control of the direction the team is going to be heading towards but as of now nothing has officially gone through but the article does report that infinite esports gave immortals till may 31st to officially make the decision so within about two weeks here we should know if optic will even exist going into the next call of duty game uh, 2019 and 2020 um, into the future it's honestly very very scary and very crazy to think about because optics existed for for years now um and they might not even have that same name that same brand going into the esports scene for for the next season very very crazy stuff here guys but not just the call of duty team will be owned by immortals but the csgo team the league of legends team all of these teams will go to immortals if infinite esports decides to sell and all the players across the board might not even be teaming together in the next season for call of duty like you really can't help but feel bad for these guys heck even the content creators like embos hitch like this is super super insane to think about they might not even be together um you also got to consider that optic the fan base in general is just so large too and they're a huge reason why fans tune into every event but at the end of the day this is a business unfortunately it just seems like hex does not have any control of what will happen either um, but if you ask me, it just does not seem like Optic is going to be existing anymore going into the next Call of Duty season. Um, but like I said, we do have about two weeks to wait and see what's going to be happening. Please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Are you shocked by this? Did you kind of expect this with, franch with franchising in Call of Duty? But as someone who's been a fan of Optic since the Modern Warfare 2 Frag Cup days, this truly does make me sad. Um, I do hope that the team can stay together and keep the Optic name somehow. But I don't know, it just does not seem like it's going to happen based off of these reports. Um, as I read more into franchising and think about it more, I, I'm not too, too optimistic about it. But I'm still not going to completely shoot down the idea because it, it can be successful if it's done proper, properly and, and the right way. 
Um, but we're gonna have to wait and see you guys again. Please tell me your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.